All right, everybody. Uh, today there was a little technical problem with the stream on uh, on YouTube. Uh, Google kept uh, telling me that I cannot switch to the stream now, etc., etc. So um, I'm terribly sorry to to have disappointed you uh, for the lunch and learn today. And I've decided to record a session offline so we can share this. And this is uh, animating characters with After Effects. Well, truth to be told. The, the application that I'm about to use is not necessarily After Effects, although the process itself is initiated from within After Effects. And what I do is I go to File and I choose Open in Adobe Character Animator. If I start that, uh, believe it or not, the Adobe Character Animator starts and it will prompt you the first time about when you started to do the tutorial. And I do encourage everybody to do the tutorial because the tutorial is easy. So let me just show you what it is. Right, I'm just going to start playing this session. Welcome to Adobe Character Animator. We bring Photoshop and Illustrator art to life. Before we start, I want you to meet Adobe 3. During our lesson, I'll ask you to stop playback by pressing the spacebar key when she makes this sound. While you're stopped, you can interact with the application. When you're finished, just press the spacebar key again to restart playback. Let's go! Lesson 1. Controlling a puppet with your face. With the power bestowed in my magical keytar, I've conjured up our friend Red Monster here. You'll take control of him soon, but first I want you to calibrate your webcam. It's easy. Look at the puppet you're controlling in the scene panel. Red Monster in this case and press the Set Rest Pose button in the lower left corner of the camera and microphone panel over there. Let's do it now. Okay, so I stopped the recording and I turn my camera on like that. And here's my face. And I just set the rest pose while looking at the character. And yeah, as you can see, this is essentially a face tracking application that allows uh, for the character uh, to move with my face and there are some tracking points associated to my mouth to my eyebrows and to my eyeballs uh, That will allow me to animate the character using uh, Yeah, my head my face. Okay, so let's continue Did you do it if so you should have seen red tracking dots on your face the face tracking will be more accurate after you set the rest pose it's a good habit to do this before every recording. If your character ever looks like this or this, you really need to calibrate your camera. Did you try blinking, smiling, or looking surprised? What about moving your eyebrows up and down? Let's experiment with Red Monster a bit more. Okay. I will not experiment with Red Monster a bit more. However, I will show you the user interface itself where you have the project panel on the left hand side. As you can see, these are the scenes that are loaded. You have a timeline on the bottom and you will find that this uh, timeline has multiple characters and a classroom background added to it. And you can see that these characters, they follow uh, in a sequence. And as I start playing, as soon as we arrive at a new block, a new character will be loaded. So let's check the next character. Lesson two, lip sync using your microphone. Why don't we try out this floating Frankenstein head? Oops, wrong key. There we go. You'll get better results if your audio levels are loud and clear. Why don't you stop playback and try talking into your microphone? Okay, so lip syncing is another awesome feature of the character animator and um, you will find that every single character that you can load from the defaults will have quite a number of different uh, lip poses that are associated to the different sounds like um, A and O and B and D and T and E and all that. And I will explain how you can create all those, um, uh, all those gestures and all those uh, lip poses uh, in a bit. Cool, isn't it? Lesson three, controlling a puppet with the mouse and keyboard. 
Wendigo has been given several keyboard triggers to make him look around, blink, or get some sweet angry eyebrows. He also has a draggable handle in each hand. Click and drag on his hands to move them. Why don't you try getting familiar with key triggers and moving draggable handles? Okay, so um, Vandigo here uh, has these draggable handles that allow me to, uh, to move his hands. And also he has uh, A for angry eyebrow and has B for sad eyebrows. And then I can press one and two and three and four to make his head turn around. I can also turn my own head to, uh, to have his head turn. This is again very clever. And um, I'm going to show you uh, how this character is actually put together. And, and to do that, I will jump back to Photoshop and I will show you how the Vendigo character is uh, put together. Here, you will find uh, all those little hints that are uh, on top of him. And you can find a big folder here called Vendigo. And in there, there is the origin folder, uh, the origin um, layer. Now, every single uh, layer group or every single layer uh, has his origin. Um, this is probably one of the most important bits because that um, shows the anchor of, um, of that specific part of the body. And you have the head. And as you can see, there are several heads in, in, in the Vendigo character. You have the front, the side right, the three quarters right, the three quarters left and the side left and in each of these folders you're gonna find left and right eyebrows, uh, left and right eyes and mouth uh, uh, mouth poses so essentially uh, those those lip sync poses uh, that we discussed earlier for the different for the different uh, vowels and, uh, and different uh, sounds uh, that the microphone can pick up. Okay, so this is how a Vendigo character, or this is how the Vendigo character is put together, but you can also create your own characters. So if I just go, um, I'm gonna load this scene here, which is uh, scene three using your own artwork. And I do encourage everybody to uh, to go through the, the whole tutorial because it's um, it's kind of fun. You can also do the recording and all that. Uh, this, is, this might be a bit too loud, but don't worry. Do you want to make your own custom puppets? Yeah, if you do, in the top toolbar, try going to Puppet, New Puppet in Photoshop or Illustrator to open up a template character named Stanny. Well, hey there. You can edit my layers or use me as a guide for your own creations. Good luck. Okay, so um, this here is Stanny. And uh, to create a character based on him, all I have to do is go to the puppet and create a new puppet either in Photoshop or in Illustrator. Now my weapon of choice for this is of course Photoshop, so I will go ahead and create a new character in Photoshop. All you have to do is replace the layers uh, on Stanny. So for example, if I just go to the face background, I can just go ahead and say, Okay, I want a new face for Stanny. Uh, for, for, for this specific example, I don't want to, uh, to use a mouth. I don't want to use a nose or the left, right eyes, all that. I don't need. All I need is the origin layer and the face background. And I want to change the face background. So let me grab a character. Let's just go uh, for him. And I'm just going to go and grab yeah, the head. like that and copy and go back to my Photoshop puppet and I'm just gonna paste it in I'm just gonna position it right make it bigger like that looks about right I could do a bit better and I'm just gonna hide the original face and all I do now is I save this Photoshop file is being created from a template and the template is called My Photoshop Puppet. So now it's My Photoshop Puppet 4, uh, which makes it very apparent that I have already done a few of these. And I just go back to the character animator and he imports the Photoshop file and in a few bits, it goes whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, look at that. Ain't that cute. And if I lean back, it shrinks the head. And if I lean forward, it makes the head bigger. So that's all cool. And uh, of course, I've been working on, um, on, on, on this specific puppet a bit more. So if I just go back to Photoshop, I can show you uh, that I have 
this puppet already created. Now, in Character Animator, this puppet translates as my Photoshop puppet too. If I load it, uh, you will find, oops, oops, uh, you'll find that uh, I can I can fiddle about with the uh, with the puppet settings itself, but he already creates his own scene. Uh, as I start playing around with it and it's loaded as my Photoshop puppet too and there we go and you can see that oh uh, I've already added a, a, a number of uh, lip sync poses and also his hands are draggable right so I can do all kinds of cool stuff with him and I can also do a little recording right yeah do something like that Hey, 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 yeah, wow, right? Uh, this is pretty amazing, uh, and I do enjoy working with the new character animator. Um, a few things about this. Uh, I also added uh, left and right head poses. Uh, however, if I'm turning my head, he will not turn his head like the Bendigo. Um, uh, to have his head turn, I actually have to press... Uh, one or two. The way you can do that, actually, it's pretty easy in Photoshop. Uh, you create um, uh, a, a layer group within uh, the head group. So I have head and I have side right brackets one exclamation mark and side left brackets two exclamation mark, which is essentially telling uh, the character animator that when I press the, the, the button two on my keyboard, it will load uh, this this head pose, right? So that's how easy it is to add uh, keyboard controls uh, for your uh, for your different layers, and uh, that is pretty much it as far as the the character creation and the character animation is concerned. Now there is uh, two more things I want to show you. Uh, one is of course the recording itself. So if I just go ahead and start recording here, hello, hello. I am BBC Four's anchor. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, Jolly Good. Or smash it. Or do something like that. Right? Uh, okay, so uh, once recorded, you can go ahead and export this file. I can go File, Export, and I can either uh, create a PNG sequence and add uh, a wave file, or I can export this to the media encoder queue and create a, a proper movie out of that that I can then uh, load into uh, Premiere or After Effects or uh, whichever application is your weapon of choice. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, sorry again for, um, yeah, on behalf of Google, I guess, uh, for uh, today's Lunch and Learn. Um, and yeah, see you next week. Peace.